Do you want to add a Twitch chat overlay to your stream? In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to add your Twitch chat inside Streamlabs so you can see it on the side of your Streamlabs. You can display it to your viewers over your game so your viewers can see it. And if you're using one monitor, how to display it over the game so you can see the chat and events while you're gaming. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And you know we're in the kitchen because I got to cook this tutorial up for you guys. Get it? Get it? Cool. So let's start with the easiest one, and that's getting our Twitch chat box on the side of your screen, like not that, like this right here. So you got your Twitch chat, you can go and send messages and read it and all that good stuff. In order to do this, the first thing that we need to do is go into the bottom left corner of Streamlabs, click that little cog wheel, and then we need to make sure that our Twitch account is connected to Streamlabs. And usually that's indicated by your little Twitch name appearing down here. So if you don't have that connected already, you need to go to the stream tab right here and where it says stream destinations, you need to go to Twitch and log in with your Twitch account and link it there. So that way you give access to Streamlabs to be able to pull up your Twitch chat on the side of here. Now, if you've connected your Twitch account and you still don't see the little chat box on the side, that's completely normal because we've got to activate one more thing. So once you've linked your Twitch account here, we're going to go to the appearance tab, which is a little bit towards the bottom. Click on that and you'll see chat settings and it says show the live doc chat on the left hand side. So we enable that. You can customize it a little bit here by adding the different emotes if you want. I personally recommend keeping all these enabled and then text size right about here. And so once you do that, obviously if we uncheck it, then it's gonna be on the right side. So if you guys are like, why well, can't see it? Well, it's probably on the right side. So we're gonna move it to the left because that's what I'm used to. And simply once we're done with that, all we have to do is hit done. And you'll see now, well, at least you can see on mine, that this little arrow is right here. So you might have two arrows. I have two arrows. So I have this second one on the right pulls up our Twitch chat, easy peasy, I can go and send messages. If this is your first time typing in your Twitch chat, you might have to log in. So just log in and then you'll be able to send your messages like I just did. So that's if you wanna have this little chat box on the side of Streamlabs. So if you wanna display your chat over your stream so your viewers can see it, that's also pretty easy as well. So what we need to do is add a new source. So we're gonna click add a new source. We're gonna scroll down a little bit to widgets and it says chat box. So we click on that and then we click on add source, click on add source, and then you can change the theme to whatever you want. Clean is usually the one that most people use, but you could also use boxed. Depending on whatever theme you use, it's gonna display what these different variations are. We also have always show messages, so that way they don't go away after a while. But if you want them to disappear, then you can simply disable that. You can change the hide delay. So this will hide it after five seconds of being on screen. So you could obviously increase that to however really long you want up to 200 seconds. So I guess not however long you want, but 200 seconds. Honestly, I just leave it on always show messages because that's what I prefer. You can feel free to customize all of these different settings here. They're all basically personal preference, so it doesn't really matter too much. So once you've customized everything you want under the chat box here, we can simply hit close. And now you will see, well, now that once we click on it, you can see that we have two chat boxes here, one for my horizontal and one for my vertical, which if you don't know how to do this, you should watch my other video on how to multi-stream using the vertical output as well. So I'll leave that linked in the top Top right corner but basically you don't have to worry about the vertical if you're not multi-streaming so basically we just have this chat box here we'll drag it on the screen wherever we want it and then we can go and type over here i'll just type in testing i could can't actually spell testing but as you can see here this is what the chat looks like so you can feel free to mess with it if you want as you can see it's not showing my full name so what you would want to do is double click on chat box we're going to scroll down to where it says browser settings and we're just going to adjust the width to let's say 900 and that way it's going to make it wider just like that and so it's not going to distort anything because we're messing with the numbers under the browser settings here and not by like dragging the corner and stuff so we'll hit close and now you can read my full name so i think that looks a lot better and you can put it honestly anywhere on the screen and this is what your viewers are going to see when you're streaming and by the way if you're wondering where i got this starting soon screen i got it from my streamer starter pack and you can too it's in the description down below it's super cheap and affordable because i wanted you guys to be able to use it if you needed to so moving on to the last section 
section, which is getting the game overlay so you can see your chat and your event list, like your followers and stuff, while you're playing a game on one monitor. So in order to do this, I'm gonna first boot up a game. I'm booting up one of my favorite games, Golf With Your Friends. If you've seen my other videos, you already know this is one of my favorites. But there's one thing that's very important in order for this to work. You need to go into your game settings. So I'm gonna go to my game settings. I'm gonna go to video tab. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you are on like borderless full screen or windowed full screen mode. Because if you're using an exclusive full screen game, which it looks like this is, but it was working earlier. So that's kind of weird. Then it might not work for that specific game. So this is game dependent. But if this method doesn't work for you and your game, then I actually have a second backup method that I can show you at the end of the video. So we're gonna try this one first because it's honestly better and it's in Streamlabs. So you don't have to download anything else. So try and put it in borderless full screen mode or borderless windowed mode if you have the option. But I already tried this out before, so I don't know why it's working on full screen, but hey, you know, I'm not gonna complain. So we got our game, right? So let's go into Streamlabs. So let me just make a new scene real quick. There's two things I wanna mention. If you're using a game capture, like a window capture or a game capture or whatever, then it will not also show your event list and your chat to your viewers. However, if you're using something like a display capture or a screen capture and you choose to share your entire screen, then they will see it. So if you do capture game like this, it's not gonna show the chat overlay and the event list, but if you use capture entire screen like this, it will. So depending on if you wanna display that to your viewers, that's entirely up to you. I'll go into that in more detail and show you the example after we set it up, but I'm just gonna choose game capture. So we'll hit done. So now we got our game capture right here looking good. So now what we need to do is go in the bottom left corner and hit this little cog wheel. And then we're gonna go all the way down to where it says game overlay. So now we're gonna choose enable in-game overlay. So we're gonna click that. We're gonna have show chat and show recent events if you want to see your recent events, like the recent follower, donations, all that sort of stuff. If you don't, that's totally fine. You can just disable it there and that's cool too. So here we have the overlay opacity. And basically that just means how transparent or how see-through these two things are gonna be over our game. So I like to have it at right about 90. You might find it better at like 50 or 60, but I'll show you the differences when we actually get this up. Now that we have enabled the in-game overlay, we need to now go to our hotkeys we're gonna find where it says toggle in-game overlay. So right here, and then we're going to click and key bind it. So you're gonna wanna pick a key on your keyboard or stream deck that you don't ever pretty much press. I have all my hotkeys set here. So this is a bad hotkey, but I'm gonna hit Q for the in-game overlay and then toggle overlay positioning mode I'm going to hit W. These are awful hotkeys because I'm going to type those a lot, but all my other hotkeys are pretty much filled up. But just to show you how this works, it'll be fine. So we have our hotkey set here. Beautiful. I'm going to actually go to the game overlay tab so we don't have to close out of it yet. Now, what I'm going to do, since I'm on one monitor right now, I'm going to hold Alt Tab. I'm going to go into my game like you would normally if you're on one monitor. And so you're like, Cody, why can't I see the in-game overlay? Well, that's because we have to hit our hotkey to enable it. So I'm gonna press Q, this is the one I set. And now you can see it's gonna load in. We have our Twitch chat right here, and then we have our event list here. But now you're like, okay, well, what if I don't like the positioning of that? Well, we set that other hotkey, right? So I'm gonna hit W, which just closed out of it. Actually, that's dumb. So I'm gonna hit W again. I don't know why that didn't work, but that's okay. So I'm gonna hit Q. We can actually go Alt Tab and bring back that settings we have here. We can simply hit toggle positioning mode like that. And now we can go and drag these to different locations on the screen in case you didn't like where they were. So I don't know why the toggle for W was not working. I mean, one of you guys in the comments might be able to figure it out, but if you ran in that same issue I did, this is a workaround for you. So now that we have moved it to where we want, we can simply hit toggle again. And then now we're gonna hit our Q button again, and that's gonna bring it back up or whatever hotkey you set. And so this overlay opacity, if I change it to 100, it's not gonna be transparent at all. If I bring it down here, it's gonna be way more see-through and transparent. So depending on how you want it, can set it to whatever you feel is most comfortable for you. So I feel like this looks pretty good, so we'll hit done. If you notice, we have this game capture right here, but you can't see what we're seeing. So if you wanted them to see that, you would have to change your screen capture from a capture game to capture entire screen. So that way, it's gonna capture everything on the screen when you're in game. So for example, I hit done, alt tab back into golf with friends. Your stream is going to see everything that you see right here. So you get the event list, you get the chat, you get the game, 
all that fun stuff. Honestly, it's entirely up to you on how you wanna do it, but personally, I would just keep this on game capture and I would use that second method by adding a new game chat, chat box right here, add source, add source, and then you'll be able to customize that chat box more better to how you want it. So if I'll just send a bunch of stuff here, that way you get the best of both worlds of being able to see it over your monitor and you can customize the chat's viewing experience, which I think overall is a very beneficial thing to take advantage of. But if you're not getting this game overlay chat to work with your stream, watch this video to the side of me. It uses a third party software, so you can try that one out and hopefully it works for you. But my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.